And I entitled our message today, The Abundant Life. Do you really want to experience the abundant life? And this abundant life is the abundance of God in our life. You know? This is a very familiar verse po sa atin. Dito po sa John chapter 10, verse 10. Sabi ni Lord, I am come that they may have life. No? And that they might have it more abundantly. Of course, dun po sa unang uh, uh, bahagi po ng John 10, 10 is uh, dumating po ang kaaway no? to uh, steal, to kill, and to destroy. Magkaiba po ang kanilang mission. But you know, Jesus declares that the reason He came to earth was that man might have an abundance of the life of God. Do you want that life? The abundance of the life of God. Abundant life actually is abundance of the life of God in us. Why? It was because Satan had stripped man utterly of everything that was beautiful. Gustong tanggalin no, ng Diablo ang lahat ng mabuting bagay na nilikha ng Diyos sa atin. And Jesus came to replenish, to rebuild, to recreate, to make men new, but especially to fill you with something that would utterly meet every need of his life. And you know what's this? Love. Ang kailangan po ng tao sa mundong ito ay pag-ibig. Puspus po ng pag-ibig. Ang Diyos actually uh, is God. God is love. So when this abundance of life comes, there's going to come with an abundance of love. Sabihin nga natin dyan, sulat nga po ninyo, God is love. Ito po yung uh, katangian ng Diyos na hindi kayang gayahin ng kaaway, ng Diablo. No? Sometimes, the devil can imitate power. The devil can imitate, uh, you know, healing. The devil can imitate, imitate uh, even uh, prosperity, even success. There's a lot of successful people here on earth uh, without acknowledging God in their lives. No? Pero yung pong love, yung pong love, yun po ang wala sa kaaway, wala sa Diablo. He's trying and sometimes he's pretending pero lumalabas po yung tunay na nature. No? Hindi ka pwedeng magtago sa pag-ibig. No? God wants us to have this abundant uh, abundance life na mag-overflow and this is the abundance of the life of God. For us to experience the abundant life, we need to overflow in this very nature of God and this is love. Can you imagine what the people would be where there was an abundance of unconditional love? That agape love? The love that comes from above? The very nature of God? Love? The Jesus kind of love? Tinan nyo ah, ang buhay, ang pag-ibig ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo sa atin. He came from heaven to earth. And Jesus Christ gave His life for you. Ang Ama binigay niya ang kanyang anak sa atin. At ang anak naman ay willing to suffer and die on the cross. So what a love. It's unconditional. Sa kabila po ng ating karamihan kasi... Hindi naman po pumarito ang Panginoon sa Kristo dahil tayo po ay nagmamahal sa Diyos o tayo po ay nagahanap, nagahanap. We are seeking the face of God or we are righteous. No. This is unconditional. This is the love of God. No. The Jesus kind of love so that every man and woman would be seeking to help one another. If this love, oh glory, hallelujah, you are seeking for the benefits of others. You are, yung hinahanap mo ang kabutihan ng iyong kapwa. You are 
praying for the goodness of your fellow, of your neighbor, if you have this kind of love. Can you imagine a church that was empty? Big sabihin eh, hindi, walang, hindi yung walang laman kundi ang mga miyembro ay umaalis at ipahayag ang kabutihan ng Panginoon, ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Love would go out hunting for needy folks. Kung ang pag-ibig na ito ng Diyos ay mag-manifest at patuloy na nagmamanifest sa ating buhay, I tell you, lahat ng bagay na meron tayo ay ating pong maipapagamit sa Lord. Lahat ng mga sasakyan natin talagang uh, mapupuno yan ng kaluluwa para magamit para sa gawain because the very heart of the Lord is soul. Ang sigaw po ng puso ng Diyos ay ang mga kaluluwang ito sa ating paligid, lalo digit sa ating mga anakan at mahal sa buhay, ay maranasan nila ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. And we are carrying out, we are carrying this nature of God. When we get born again, we have this very nature of God. You have the very nature of God. And what's that? Love. Ang sabi po ng 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, You are of God, little children. See? You are of God. Ikaw ay nagmula sa Diyos. Little children, you are of God. You are born out of abundance. Born out of fullness. You are of God. Pakisulat nga po ninyo yan. I am of God. I am born of God. I am a child of God. You are the sons and daughters of God. You are of God. And nothing will so enrich the life as for us to quietly say, I am of God. I am begotten of God. I have God's very nature in me. And along with this nature, you have His ability to help folks, a burden bearer, a strength giver, an inspirational to, inspiration to men, you are a faith builder, my friend. Why? Because your nature is the very nature of your father. Now that you are born of God, your nature is the very nature of your father. And an abundance of life is to live it out. This very nature of God in us, my friend. Alam niyo kung bakit marami pong mga nagkakaroon po ng uh, sigalot o pag-aaway-away o pagkasira-sira. Because they are, they are giving access to the devil of, you know, that negative emotion, zealous na, you know, yung, yung jealousy, yung competition, or I am better than you. Mas malalim ang kaunawaan ko kaysa sa iyo. Kapatid, ang mas malalim na may kaunawaan po sa salita ng Diyos, mas malalim po ang kanyang pag-ibig. Ang mas may malalim na revelasyon tungkol sa ginawa ng Panginoon sa Kristo, mas malalim po ang kanyang kaunawaan sa tao. Mas malalim ang kanyang pag-unawa sa kakulangan ng tao. The more that you have a deep revelation of who Jesus Christ is, the more that you are living in God's love, the more that you are loving people, the more that you overlook their shortcomings. Katulad po ng Diyos, minahal po niya tayo sa kabila po ng ating kakulangan at sa ating po mga witnesses. This is an overflow of love or overflow of abundant life. You know, God touches your very innermost being and floods you with His natural ability and grace and love. Again, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, You are of God. You are of God. You are not of the devil. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, the world. You have overcome situations here on earth. You know, the man of God is masterful. You are a man of God. He is a conqueror. You are hypernikos, ika nga. Beloved, 
let us love one another. Sabi po ng 1 John 4, 7, and 8, Let us love one another, for love is of God. Saan daw po galing ang pag-ibig? Love is of God. And everyone that love is born of God. And know God. Ang sino mang nagmamahal, ay kilala niya ang Diyos. Siya ay nagmula sa Diyos at kilala niya ang Diyos. And He that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. Kaya, yung pong matatalino dyan, ano, na so-called, napakalalalim ang kanilang revelasyon na pang na ginagawa nila na para bang hindi mo na maritz, no? And then they are looking, uh, you know, they're putting down Uh, somebody else. Kapatid, napakalinaw po yung sinasabi po rito. Ang sino mang hindi nagmamahal ay hindi niya kilala ang Diyos. Sabagat ang Diyos ay pag-ibig. At ang sino mang nagmamahal ay nagmula sa Diyos. Again, you are of God, little children. You are of God. And because you are of God, you have the very nature of God. Oh, ulit-ulitin po nyo yan. You must know who you are. I am of God. I am born of God. I am a child of God. I have the very nature of God. And that very nature of God is love. Therefore, you are living in love. And I tell you, that abundant life will overflow. You become a blessing and a strengthener. A strength giver and inspiration to men. You are a faith builder if you know who you are. If you know that the very nature you have right now as a born of God, as a born again, is love, then you are an inspiration to men. You are an encouragement to men, to everybody. You must know who you are. And this is abundant life. You have become a partaker of the love nature of the Creator. You are tied up with omnipotence. With power. And you know, the greatest power is love. Ang pag-ibig ay kaya niyang pasukuin kahit ang taong galit na galit sa kanya. Ang pag-ibig ay kaya niyang i-overcome ang lahat ng sitwasyon. And that is the love. Kaya nga the greatest of all is love. And this is abundant life. Abundant life is living out the very nature of God in you. Kapatid, again, you are a partaker of the love nature of God. You are a partaker. You, are, you have that very nature. You are tied up with omnipotence. You are tied up with very effulgence of God, meaning the ability to shine bright, brightly. Nakatied up ka doon po sa kapangyarihan ng pag-ibig ng Diyos at meron kang abilidad na magliwanag upang maiwipe out ang dilim sa buhay ng mga tao. You have His strength. You have His grace. You have God's ability. You have Him. You are not seeking a blessing from Him. You have the blessing in you right now. Think what if you, no, it would mean for you to have the consciousness of His presence in, in you all the time, my friend. Kaya nga po napakasarap talaga that in your moment with God, you're thinking of His love for you. And you're thinking that you also have the same nature with God. <clears throat> Mga kapatid, dahil ikaw ay anak ng Diyos, you have the very nature of God. Therefore, you can love. You can love. Now, is there anything you cannot do with Him abiding in you? God's very life, my friend, abides in you. Sulat nga po ninyo dyan. And believe this. Write it down. God's very life abides in me. 
Alam niyo ba na yung buhay ng Diyos ang siyang nananalaytay sa atin? Ang buhay ng Diyos ang siyang buhay natin. Ang nature ng Diyos na pag-ibig ay nasa sayo in the spirit. So kailangan mabuksan ng ating kaisipan upang nang sa ganun, yun po yung pinaka, alam niyo, our mind is the gate bulb so that our spirit being, every good thing that is deposited in our spirit and the very nature of God in our spirit will come out into our soul part, kailangan po mabuksan ng gate bulb. At ang pinaka-gate bulb po dyan ay ang ating pong isipan. And you know, it's hard, not actually hard, it's impossible to leave it out, that very nature of God in us without surrendering our being, our mind to the Holy Spirit. Kaya nga po, that's the reason why sinabi ni Pablo, pray without ceasing. Para sa akin, ang praying without ceasing is that always focusing your heart to what God has done for you and allowing the Holy Spirit to speak through you all the time. Thinking of what the Lord has done. Kasi walang ibang ipapatuto ang banal na Espiritu, mga kapatid, kundi yung pong tinapos na gawa ng Panginoon sa Kristo. Ay napakalalim po ang mensahe ng ginawa ng Panginoon sa Kristo doon sa cross ng Kalpario. There's a lot of blessing. There's a lot of Mind-blowing. Actually, there's no word that can explain. Only in your spirit can understand what the Lord has done. Although meron pong mga salitang namumutawi sa labi po natin, pero para sa akin, hindi po sapat yung pong mga, mga salitang yun. But you know in your spirit that there is a spirit of the Lord, the Lord testifying in every word coming out of my mouth. What the Lord has done for us. Na kapag nabuksan po ang ating kaisipan, oh glory to God, we can live it out the abundant of life. And that is the life, the abundance life of God in us. So God's very life abides in you. Sabi po ng Colossians chapter 2 verse 9 and 10, 9 to 10, In Him, in Christ, dwelleth all the fullness of Godhead bodily. Wow. In Christ dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And you are complete in Him. You are complete in Christ which is the head of all principality and power. Could you imagine that? You receive Christ. And Christ dwelleth in you. Christ seated down at the throne of your heart. And Christ is your identity. Christ is your life. Christ is your righteousness. Christ is your very nature. Wow, glory to God. Now, and in Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And because you are in Christ, my friend, you are complete in Him. Can you write it down? I am complete in Christ. I am complete in Christ. If you feel like sometimes that uh, you are incomplete and you are seeking for something that, uh, you know, to uh, feel your empty feelings. Kasi kapag meron pong empty feelings ang isang tao, she or he is looking for something that satisfies him. Kapatid, if Jesus Christ is your completeness, He is your satisfaction. Siya ang satisfaction ng buhay mo. <laughs> Kaya nga po, I have come, sabi ni Lord, to give them abundant life. Magkakaroon ka ng abundant life kapag si Kristo ang kakompletohan at satisfaction ng buhay mo. E ano ba bang hanapin natin sa mundong ito? E na kay Kristo nga ang kapuspusan ng Diyos. Pag sinabing kapuspusan ng Diyos, everything in heaven and on earth is in Him. And of course, he, it is His delight to give all these things to you. Kaya nga po, wala na tayong mag ma ma mahihiling pa kung maintindihan po natin yung sinabi ni Lord kay Abraham. I am your great reward, Abraham. Hallelujah. If the Lord is your great reward, ano bang hahanapin natin mga kapatid? 
I love that. God is your reward. Nothing, nothing else in this world is more important. If you believe that God is the source of everything, He is the source of life. He is the source of every good thing. He is the source of all things. And when you know that God is with you and He is your life and He loves you so much, then nothing to worry. Actually, if you're going to meditate on this, my friend, we could say that, Lord, nothing more and nothing else that I desire for but you alone, Lord. And when you believe in all these things, walang bagay na wala ka nang hanapin pa. Everything is complete. My friend, Carefully note it now. In Jesus dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Meaning all the ability of God was in Him. All the love of God was in Him. He never gave anyone the sense of emptiness, lack of ability or sense of unreadiness. He was always ready to meet every emergency. Ano mo bang emergency na kailangan mo? The Lord is always ready to meet every emergency in life. So you have to think of His think of His utter completeness, fullness, and ability in every place. We are made full with His fullness. Wow. You are complete with His completeness. You are full with His fullness. It did not came or it did not come to you because you fasted, prayed so long and so hard to get it. This fullness of God, this completeness, and this favor upon favor, all the good things and the very nature of God's love is in you, came upon you, not because you do something good or you fasted so hard and prayed so hard just to get it. It came to you all through grace. Lahat ng ito'y dumating dahil sa biyaya ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Isa Kristo. Tingnan niyo po yung biyaya ng ito ng Panginoon. Ano? Si Pablo, when Paul was persecuting Jesus, You know, paano ba pinersecute ni Pablo? Ni Pablo? Paano niya pinersecute si Jesus? Kasi sabi po ni Lord doon sa Acts chapter 9 verse 4, Pablo, Pablo, or Saul, Saul, why you persecute me? Bakit mo ako inuusig, Pablo, or Saulo? You know, pinersecute nga ba ni Pablo ang ating Panginoong Yesus? When Paul bruised, bruised a person, a single branch. He was also bruising the vine. Nung pinersecute ni Pablo ang mga mananampalataya, he, is, he was persecuting the vine. He was persecuting Jesus Christ. Never was it more beautiful and more clear nung sinabi po ng Panginoon, I am the vine, you are the branches. So sabi po niya, Tingnan nyo, ha? the Lord is the vine and we are the branches. Arang sabi niya kay Pablo, Saul, you have been bruising, cutting, and mangling the branches. You've hurt the vine. So, tingnan nyo yung ginawa ni Pablo. Pinersecute niya ang mga mananampalataya. Pinagpapatay niya. Pinag-uusig niya ang mga mananampalataya. At dumating ang Panginoon, bakit mo ako inuusig, Pablo? Eh, siyempre, si Pablo, hindi naman niya personal na inuusig, pero ang sino mang umusig sa iyo, inuusig niya ang Panginoon. Pero gusto po, ito pong gusto ko pong ipakita sa atin. Nung pong gustong ipahayag ng Diyos ang kanyang, ng Panginoong Isus, ang kanyang biyaya, ang kanyang pag-ibig, when Jesus wanted someone to have His revelation, 
of who He is, about the revelation of the cross, about the revelation of being righteous in Christ. Yung pong mga napakalalalim na revelasyon, kapahayagan, tungkol sa tinapos na gawa ng Panginoon Yesus, hindi po niya inireveal o pinili sina James o Peter or John. But he took soul of Tarsus and unveiled to him the most marvelous thing ever put into human language. Yun po mga sulat ni Pablo. Mababasa po ninyo dyan kung gaano kalalim ang naging kaunawaan ni Pablo tungkol sa tinapos na gawa ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Kung paano naging matuwid ang tao sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya kay Kristo. It was revealed unto him. Sa kabila po ng uh, siya ay nagpersecute sa kabila po ng marami ang inusig niya ng mga mananampalataya at ang pag-uusig ni Pablo sa mga mananampalataya ay pag-uusig niya sa Panginoong Yesus. Aside uh, sa kabila po ng yan, sa kanya na ipahayag kung pa ang mga malalalim na hiwaga na mensahe ng Colson sa cross. It was not given to a worthy man. It was given to a man whose heart was dominated by hatred. Puno ng galit, puno ng hatred, envy and bitterness ang puso ni Saul that time. Kasi nakikita niya ang mga tao, grabe ang daming tagasunod ni Jesus. Puno ng envy ang kanyang puso, hatred. Kaya po niya pinagpapatay, pinag-uusig ang mga mananampalataya. Pero sa kabila nun, siya ang pinili ng Diyos upang may pahayag ang mensahe ng tinapos na gawa ng ating Panginoong Yesus doon sa Cross ng Calvary. Could you imagine that? Wow! That is Christ. The Father took this man and filled him with His fullness. It is all of grace, my friend. Everyone can be full with His fullness. Of His fullness, of His love. You know, of His fullness we have all received. We have received the fullness of His love. We have received the fullness of His life. The fullness of everything that was beautiful in the man Jesus. Praise God. Kaya kahit gano'y ikaw kasama, maaring meron kang nagawang kakulangan o maraming kang nakikitang disqualification sa'yo. But you know what? The Lord wants to reveal unto you how much He loves you. Gusto ng Diyos na tanggapin mo ang kapuspusan ng Kanyang pag-ibig ng Kanyang buhay at gusto ng Diyos na mabuhay siya sa pamamagitan mo dito sa lupa. I want to uh, close in this. In Ephesians chapter 3.16, this is the prayer of Apostle Paul. May He grant you out of the riches of His glory. Wow. May He grant you, bigyan niya sana kayo, ng kayamanan ng kanyang kapangyarihan. You know, the riches of His glory. Ano, alam niyo kung yung, ano po yung riches na to? Ito po yung wala pong ibang yaman ng Diyos kundi yaman ng kanyang pag-ibig. You know? At ang uh, glory ng Diyos ay ang ating Panginoong Kristo. Ang yaman ng Diyos ay yung pong pag-ibig at ang pag-ibig ay makapangyarihan upang likhain ang lahat ng iyong pangangailangan. At ang glory ng Diyos ay na kay Kristo. Siya ang uh, kapahayagan ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. Ang Panginoong Kristo ang kapahayagan ng biyaya ng Diyos. And God wants you to see this and receive this riches of His glory. Na kapag ito po'y naintindihan po natin yung pungyaman ng kanyang pag-ibig na naihayag kay Kristo, then you're gonna be strengthened and spiritually energized with power through His Spirit in your inner self in dwelling your innermost being and personality. Alam nyo, na, na, kaya ang ganda nung ano eh, yung fullness of God na timpo ng Tats of Christ dyan po sa Mindoro, sa Rojas. Actually, this is the continuation. No? Mga kapatid, allow the Lord to pour out His love for you every day. And the fullness of God 
the abundance of God's life and the abundant life is to live it out. The very nature of God, and this is love. The transcendent glory and beauty of God's grace is going to dawn upon our spirits. And we are going to taste of the riches of His glory. And we are going to experience the joy of being strengthened with His ability in our spirits. You know, your whole being will be rooted and grounded in love, in Him. If you are rooted and grounded in love in Him, oh, you have received the abundance of grace. Yun po yung abundance, the overflow of His grace. When you receive eternal life, you have received the gift of righteousness, the abundance of grace. Friend, you have the very nature of the Father. And because you have the very nature of the Father, you have His ability, you have His steadfastness, His gentle kindness. He imparts His very confidence to you and makes you strong and courageous. Sabihin ka natin, I have the Father's ability, steadfastness, and gentle kindness. Come on, you have the ability of the Father because you have the same nature, the very nature, the very life you have now is the very Zoe, the life of God. So get into habit of saying, God is in me. He lives in me. His love is in me. Praise God. Oh God, thank you. That you reveal unto us, Lord God, kung paano po mag-umapaw ang buhay mo sa buhay po namin. At kung paano po namin maranasan ang buhay na nag-uumapaw sa mundong ito, ang sinabi ng Panginoong Isu Kristo in John 10.10, I might come, I have come to give you life. I come that they may have life, that they may have it more abundantly and this abundant life if no other, is no other than the overflowing of the manifestation of your love in our life, Father. I release this, Father God, to everyone. Let everyone, Father God, be empowered with your love, which is the fullness of you, Father. Sabagat ang pag-ibig ang nagtulak upang bayaran ng ating mga kasalanan. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ang nagtulak upang tayo kupkupin at gawing kanyang mga anak. Ang pag-ibig ang nagtulak upang lahat ng ating mga pangangailangan ay well provided. At praise God, that very love of God, that very nature of God is in you, my friend, because you have the same nature with your Father in heaven. Because you are of God. You are born of God. So go and demonstrate that love of the Father and overflow. Let that abundant life overflow in you to your whole family and even to your neighbors and to your community. I release the power in Jesus' name. Amen.